Megan Crick here with Michael Crick at our El Dorado Hills studio. Today we'd like to talk a little bit about what is happening in our Western culture. What am I doing, Michael? Rounding forward. How many of you are on your phone right now? How many of you are at the computer right now? How many of you drive for more than 30 minutes a day? Hopefully not right now. <laughs> We live in a culture of roundedness, of closed offness. Um, I mean, I won't even get into all of the like digestion and all kinds of bad things that can go wrong, but um, this is no way to live. So today, I am calling upon Michael Crick's expertise to explain a little bit more about why this is bad and what we can do about it. So as you said, we live in a very forward culture. Everything we do is in front of us. Even sports we do, such as cycling or running or hiking or yoga. Uh, we tend to not really be focused on the posterior chain, which is the back of the body. Um, and one of the things I've noticed working with hundreds, almost thousands of clients is most people have some kind of forward leaning going on. Um, and then some also what's called a kyphosis, so a rounded of the upper roundedness of the upper back. Um, and what that does, yeah, physiologically, it can mess with a lot of different things, but to put it simply, um, it is tightening through here, and then you get the, the muscles of the upper back uh, get pulled, so they're weakened, and then the head starts to fall forward, so these muscles uh, get really tight and strained. So, you, you know, you out there, you feel your neck muscles, this is your levator scapula um, and your trap. Um, upper trapezius and those muscles get really tight. So we want to kind of ease the tension in there, open the chest, get the head back, um, and this makes for a much better uh, life experience, really. <laughs> so there's two exercises I like to prescribe uh, for this. Um, all you need is your handy dandy foam roller. You can get this uh, at your local sports store or online for about 40 bucks. And everyone should have one. Everyone should have one. And there's lots of cool things you can do with this. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to have Megan here demonstrate. You're gonna put the foam roller down on the mat vertically, and then you're gonna lay down on top of it, and you want your head, that little kind of bump in the back of your head, you want that just barely hanging off the foam roller. Now your head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna traction the spine here. So you're, you're on your feet all day, you're walking around, even just standing, sitting, um, gravity uh, gets us all in the end, right? So we wanna combat that the best we can. Now to do that, uh, we're just we're gonna use it. So you're gonna let the gravity kind of pull your head down to the ground. Now I'm gonna have her keep her head and her shoulders here, and then I'm gonna have her move her hips down maybe just a half of an inch. Slide down? Yep, just your hips though. So your head and shoulders are staying safe. So what we're doing here is we're actually tractioning the spine. So we're pulling uh, the vertebrae apart and you have your discs in between the vertebrae um, and they get pounded all day. So this is a, a nice position to be in, especially after um, a long day of activity or work, um, and you can just see her spines opening up. Now the other thing that's going on here is we're actually opening up the front of the body. Notice her shoulders are now back and her chest is open, and her spine is actually in proper alignment. Um, and we could talk more in depth about that, but <laughs> to put it simply, how, how does this feel, Megan? Good. Yeah? It feels like um, when you hang in one of those... In a version table? Yeah. That yeah, is. sure. And that does it actually uh, does a very similar thing. It attractions the body, allows it to open up. So I'm just gonna have you do gently rock side to side. And so now what we're doing here is we're just massaging the muscles of the spine, um, saying hello and thank you. Hello and thank you. Feels good, nice and gentle. Uh, you can do that for as long as, as you want. And you can hang out here as long as you want. It's, it's a good position to be in. Um, but for the sake of time, let's move on. So stay there. So now we're gonna bring, I'm gonna have her bring her hands up. I'm trying to get your hands all the way to the ground. So now you feel that stretch to the front of the body, oh, yeah. open the front of the shoulders. Good, so remember when we're here, what's going on with the, the musculature and the anterior shoulder, the, the, pec, the pecs, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Um, so we want to open. So now I'm gonna have you reach up overhead, like you're sticking them up, and then try to keep your hands on the ground the whole time, and then bring them back down. And then we'll keep going nice and slow with your breath. So if this is too hard, you can't keep your hands on the ground the whole time, uh, just work through it gently. We don't want to tear anything. Um, but it should be a nice, easy opening uh, stretch. How does that feel? Good. Yeah. And we can do this anytime, right? Not like anytime. before or after workout, just 
Anytime. Evening TV watching. Sure, sure. Um, I, we keep our foam roller in our, our living room and uh, we bring it out. I was just using it this morning actually. Uh, but sometimes, a lot of times after the kids go down, I'll just hop on the foam roller and roll out and do some mobility work. Uh, endless things you can do. So that's the first position. The second position I really like to, to the exercise I like to do with the foam roller is come on up, Megan. And you're going to turn it uh, horizontal. So this way. And we're going to actually start at the top. So this is the thoracic spine, basically from the base of the neck to the middle back. And you have 12 thoracic vertebrae and that they round forward about optimally 30 to 35 degrees. And we can actually measure that. Uh, most people are, are over 35 degrees. So one of the things we can do to increase thoracic mobility and extension uh, is we go backwards over the foam roller. So we're actually going to have Megan start at the base for neck. So this is T1 here. Thoracic one, remember you have 12 vertebrae, so go ahead and lay it back. And bring the roller underneath, okay? Perfect. So her hips are on the ground, her feet are on the ground, and she's going to, a couple options here, you can actually reach your whole upper body back, keep your hips down, and head back and arms back. Keep your hips down, though. there you go. And then bring it back in, so you're doing like a micro set. Wow. In. <laughs> So if that's too intense, you could support your head with your hands. And same thing, reaching back. Good. Uh, other tip here is press the tongue against the roof of your mouth. Your tongue is actually a very big, strong muscle, and it'll help support your head. A lot of people get um, tightness or weakness in the, their neck muscles, so that helps with the, the support of the head as you reach back. So we're gonna slowly work our way down the spine. So we're gonna do three on each vertebrae. So remember you have 12 thoracic vertebrae, so that, that's 36 times. Sometimes you'll get a little micro adjustment. I just correct. A little cracking, that's, a, that's okay, that's good. Um, and you know, the more often you do this, as with any kind of stretching or mobility work, you really just kind of get to know your body um, and where it needs to be opened up. Um, I tend to get really tight, uh, like T7, T8, so the middle thoracic spine. So I spend a little more time there. I don't do as much at the top and bottom, but that's just what works for me. How does that feel, Megan? Good. Really good. So notice she's going into full extension of the thoracic spine. Um, the goal here, so now she's mid back. Let's move up just a little right there. That's good. The goal here is you should be able to get your head all the way to the ground. Good. If you can't do that, work towards it. The vertebrae you can sit, down, sit on each other like this, um, and they can kind of get stuck. So what we're doing is we're trying to just work them loose. They're, they're joints, um, just like anywhere else in the body. And the more you kind of work it, the, the more opening you're going to get. So. Uh, those are the two exercises I recommend if you're feeling like you're rounded and, and tight in the neck, uh, move forward in the head. Um, yeah. Cool. Thanks, Michael. Hope that Good helps. Time. And hope all of you get out your foam rollers and start rolling around tonight. Um, yeah. It really makes a big difference um, for being able to enjoy life, right? Move well.